Hey guys, it's Tiger here. Before this video starts, I want you guys to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when all my videos come out. Enjoy! How is she? <sighs> Still the same. She'll wake up, Oliver. I hope so. Try to get some sleep while you're there. Um, I'll bring her homework in the morning. Thanks, Max. No problem. Talk to you soon. See ya. Hello? Max! Hey! How are you? I'm fine. Have you talked to your dad yet? Dash, we've been over this. Maxine, you deserve to know the truth. I know what's killing you inside to ask about it. I can't. Why? I don't know, I just... I know you're scared. But if you don't ask... You'll never know anything about your sibling. I'll try. Alright. I'm here if you ever need me. Thanks, Dash. 
always. Hey, sweetie, how are you doing? Fine. Uh, all right, Maxine. Well, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Sport, you have to eat. We haven't eaten together in a long time. I said I wasn't hungry. All right, that's it. You're going to come downstairs and you're going to eat. But... Now! Maxine, it's been a month and you've barely even said a word to me. What's going on? Honey, please. What happened? Is this because of Maya? If it is, I'm sure she'll get better. This has nothing to do with Maya. Then talk to me. What's got you so upset? Do you have something to tell me, Dad? What? Think about it. Maxine, I don't understand. I don't have anything to tell you, other than that I missed you this summer. <sighs> right, okay. So, do you know the definition of lying, Dad? Max. Do you? Yes, of course. No. I don't... I don't think you do. It's to be untruthful. To be dishonest. You... You have been lying to me since the day I was born. Maxine, whatever you think you know... I know the truth. Dad, just tell me. Do I have a sister? Or a brother? How... It doesn't matter how I know. Just tell me. You have an older brother. What's... What's his name? Max. His name, Dad, please! Elijah. His name's Elijah. Where can I find him? Maxine, listen to me. I need to explain myself. No, I don't think you do. You could have told me about him years ago. But you haven't and you didn't. I had to hear from someone else. I could have had years with him, Dad? Don't you see that? Obviously, you can see why I'm upset. Max. What if you didn't know about your brother, huh? What then? You would be mad at your parents, wouldn't you? So you can't blame me for being pissed off right now. This is on you. Maxine, please! Just leave me alone! What are you doing? I'm going to stay over at Dash's. No, you're not! You're not leaving this house! So this is your parenting method? To keep me locked up? Because you think I don't have a right to be mad. That is not what I'm saying. You have every right to be mad at me. But Maxine, I need you to trust me. Trust is earned. You broke that, and I'm not just going to hand it over. So excuse me for wanting to leave. And I am leaving. Whether you like it or not.
So you have a brother. I have a brother. Wow, that just feels weird saying that out loud. Do you know where to find him? Actually, I was wondering if your mom could find him. Your dad doesn't know? I'm sure he does, but he probably won't tell me. I wouldn't mind asking my mom. I'm sure she can help in some way. <laughs> Thanks, Dash. Yeah, no problem. Want to watch a movie? Oh, yes, please distract me. Awesome. I'll go find us a movie and I'll bring popcorn. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Max, everything all right? Yeah, just trouble sleeping. Well, I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, I usually just get a glass of milk and that usually helps a tad. Milk's in the fridge. Thanks. Um, Miss Sparris? Max. Please call me Malia. R right. Malia. I was... wondering... You wanna know if I can find your brother or not? How? Dash. She asked me and... Well, I told her I'd try. Th thank you. If you really want to find him, though, the easiest way is to ask your father. I've tried. He just, um... <sighs> it's like he doesn't understand. Maybe he had his reasons. I doubt it. Well, you're welcome to stay here whenever. Think of my home years. I... I don't want to intrude. Oh, nonsense. I think you feel like a daughter to me anyway. Thanks. Try to get some sleep, alright? I will. Good night. Good night, Maxine. Sweet dreams. Hey, Dash. Thanks for letting me stay at your house. Hey, anytime. I like having sleepovers. We should all have one tonight. A sleepover? Yeah. Sounds like fun. Whose house? Uh, not mine. We're getting some construction work done. I'm not going home, so... My house it is. Yes. I wish Maya could come. Max... She'll wake up, and when she does, we'll all have another sleepover. Agreed. <laughs> okay. Hey, beautiful. Run. What? 
You're just... I don't know... A baka. What did I do? <laughs> You're so weird. Weird is good. I know what you're gonna say. I wasn't going to say anything. Alex... How... How do you get over someone you really liked? I am the wrong person to ask. I mean... I'm happy for them. Like, truly, I am. I just... I know. She was the first girl I really liked. Julian? I I gotta get to class. Hey, during gym, would you help me with the volunteer work? Uh, sure. Sweet, thanks. Yeah, no problem. It's the least I can do. You excited about tonight? Yeah, are you? <laughs> of course. Have you come to help? Uh, you're funny if you think I'm going to do volunteer work. Come on, Alex. It's not that bad. Yeah, we get extra school credits. Uh, I'm just here to support Julian. Wow, okay. Fine. Don't help. Dad. It's fine. Fine, I'll help. What do you want me to do? Can you come help me with the girls' dressing room? Maxine, uh, can you clean the boys' dressing room? Uh, what? Julian can help you. Uh, what? I, I heard my name. Can you make sure there's, like, no boys in the dressing room? I promised my teacher I'd clean the gym. I, I, I don't need the help. Sure, I'll help. 
Julian, really, it's okay. Come on. Uh, thanks for helping. You didn't have to. It's fine. Julian, what are you- <laughs> Don't get any ideas. I'm just changing. Can't you, like, ch change after I'm done? There. Done. Well, get going. <laughs> right. So, uh, how have you been? Fine, I guess. I don't mean to pry, but are you and Alex like... a thing? What? No, of course not. Uh, oh, I just thought you two would look cute together. She's my best friend. Nothing more. Okay, S sorry. No, no, it's okay. I, I just don't want you to get the wrong idea. What do you mean? Why does it matter what I think? <laughs> Nothing. I just meant... Never mind. Julian... Whoa! Maxine! Julian, I'm fine. No, you're not. Now stop. M Max? Hmm? <laughs> Never mind. Are you okay? I need to, uh, get home. Uh... See you, Max. Julian? Huh? Hello? I'm dreaming. I, I have to be. <gasps> Hello? Hello? 
Hello? <sighs> okay. Oh, you gotta be choking me. Okay. Vaccine. Uh, just breathe. I can do this. It's not real. Okay. Think of something else. Um, think. Who? I'm you. The real you. No. You're just a nightmare in my head. Oh, please, Maxine. You and I both know who you truly are. You're stubborn, oblivious, clingy, overly emotional, forgetful, insecure, impatient, indecisive, dumb. Have I forgotten anything? Probably. Everyone has their faults. You won't even make it into college, and we both know that. I don't need college to succeed in life. But you know it's a good choice to make. I mean, you do want to impress your boyfriend, right? It's a shame, because you'll never get into one. That is, if you even graduate, which is unlikely. Stop. And don't even get me started on Ren breaking up with you. Oh, what a tragic. We both know sooner or later he'll learn everything about you and realize you just aren't good enough. That's not true. He loves me. Does he? He's never said it to your face. So how do you know? You are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. You are kind, passionate, smart. I'm so happy I can call you mine. I, I love you. This isn't real. It can be, and it will be. It's just a matter of time. Run! Want to get out of here? Run! Run! He can't hear or see you. You're invisible to him. Enough! <sighs> Don't try to act tough. Me and you both know you're a coward. Don't even pretend that you don't think about these things. You are nothing to this world, Maxine. And it would have been just better if you drowned in that river. You and I both know that. Then you'd never have to be a burden to anyone ever again. Ren will never love you the way you want him to love you. I'm done talking. Even if you do wake up, you'll remember this, all of it. And you will finally understand who you truly are. A mistake. Unloved. And unwanted. <laughs> Max? Ren? Max? What's wrong? What happened? Why are you in the nurse's office? I... I... Max! Max! Who am I?